Hello, so welcome to lesson 7 in our study of functional analysis. So in lesson 7, we'll be talking about the LP spaces and we will link it with the sequence spaces, okay? So when you have the LP spaces, right, as we've written it here, the M represent the dimension and the P represent the type of norm. So for instance, when I write something like L32, it means that the, the, the space is, we have three dimension, right? So we can see X, Y, Z. And the P norm on it is the what? Two norm, that's the Euclidean norm, right? So that's what it means. So um, the LP norm is of this form, right? We all know that. This is the general form of the LP norm, right? So it is from the LP norm that we are going to extend our knowledge to talk about the LP spaces, okay? So we'll be considering two types of the spaces. Then after that, we would be looking at sequences and try to find out which of the spaces they belong to, okay? That's what we are going to do in this video, right? And it's a build up of what we've been doing. So we have two of the spaces that we are going to consider, right? So the LP spaces. We have the LP spaces for when P is between 1 to infinity, but the 1 is what? Inclusive. And the infinity is exclusive. So for the spaces, with p less than or equal to one with p um with one less than or equal to p less than infinity right this is it so when you have that particular sequence all right when you try to sum everything inside it should be less than infinity okay then we have the second space we we'll talk about that is for when p is infinity so with that one the condition is that when you have the sequence the supremum should be less than infinity the absolute value of the supremum okay all right so if the understanding is still not clear don't worry we'll give examples to explain to you what we are trying to do okay so let's talk about sequence spaces so sequence spaces are denoted by what you can see here so it's a sequence from what k where k is a field right so example is when you have something like one two three four so you can see that this one is a sequence right and this sequence is from the field of what row numbers okay so those are what sequence species are so this here for instance is a sequence this is a sequence and that's a sequence so what we want to do in this video is that when you have a sequence which of the species will it belong to will it belong to one of them neither of them or both of them right and that's what we'll be trying to find out from this video so what we want to learn now is how to know whether a sequence speed belongs to any or both of the lp or the l infinity speed that we are talking about okay so we are going to try to figure out with two examples okay so example one we have the constant sequence and a constant sequence is given by what we can see here. So this is a constant sequence because you know we have one, one, one throughout, right? And it is infinite. So this constant sequence, we want to know where it belongs to. So you realize that to know where it belongs to, with the first example, for it to belong to that space, that means that when we sum all the elements in this constant sequence it should be less than infinity but that is not true because when you sum everything it will be what infinity so hence it means that the constant sequence one 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 does not belong to what this um the sequence lp for one less than or equal to p less than infinity okay but i realize that when you try to look for the supremum right the greatest upper bound you realize that it will be one and one is less than infinity so hence it belongs to what the l infinity space so 
we are trying to say is that the constant sequence that we had right belongs to this space but does not belong to this space okay that is what we try to so let's do the last one so the last example we are talking about is the harmonic sequence right so it is given by one half one over three one over four so actually it's given by one over n where n starts from one two three so n right so we have one one over two one over three one over four and one over five going so you want to know which of the species it belongs to okay right so you realize that with the numbers that we have here when we look for the upper bound right the greatest upper bound is going to be one so the supremum of um, the sequence that we have there right is going to be one and that is less than infinity so it means that the harmonic sequence belongs to this space okay then now let's look for the space lp for one less than or equal to p less than infinity so you realize that with this space when p is one that means you are talking about the manhattan norm right and the manhattan norm says that we are going to sum the absolute value of all the elements so you realize that when we sum one plus the absolute value of one over two plus one over three plus one over four plus this will give us a very large number so let's say infinity so realize that when p is equal to one we are going to have infinity and the condition for it to belong to this space is that when you find the sum of all the elements it should be less than infinity but since when p is equal to one we are getting infinity it means that it violates the rule for what it's belonging to the lp space for one less than or equal to p less than infinity okay so that means that one p is equal to one will not be part of it right so we don't have the equality here but when p is two so you see when p is two we have to be squaring them okay and as we are squaring them you realize that the numbers will be getting smaller for instance when p is three two they'll be getting smaller so that means that for p equals two to something which is less than the infinity right we are going to get it's going to satisfy this condition here this condition here so that means that the harmonic sequence is going to belong to this space for one less than p less than infinity we, are, we will not include one here right so that's the reason why we said that the harmonic sequence belongs to lp for one less than p less than or equal to infinity right you realize that it belongs to the l infinity and for the lp it belongs to it for one less than p less than infinity all right so yes when you have a sequence that's how we try to verify whether it belongs to the two spaces we talk about it belongs to one of them neither of them or both of them okay so thank you very much and See you in the next video.